26 October? What? I didn't do that. Uh, what? Why? Why does it have the weird the month like that? That's that's a weird month. That that's not how you spell October. <laughs> that is that is no way how you spell October. I didn't do that. It's a Manchu. Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Well, I'm kind of running out of leads about Robin and figuring out what happened to her and why. There's some kind of explosions that were happening. I don't know if it was sabotage. I don't know if Robin did it. Or if there's some other cause related to gain-of-function research they were doing on the uh, coronavirus. Whatever the case, I'm running out of leads, and I think I want to go work on helping out Alan. Tracking down those alien artifact sites and scanning them. I don't trust that alien, but I do want to get it out of my head, so there is that. But before that, I got a bunch of new plans for uh, add-ons to the base and new modules for the sea truck, and I want to work on building those to require gathering some materials first. And then I'll go try and scan some of the sites. Okay, after about two and a half hours of gathering materials and crafting things, I've made some improvements. One thing I did was I got these swim charge fins, wirelessly charge held tools while you swim. That's kind of neat. I added... Where is it? Over here I added this uh, water filtration machine which produces water and salt. It actually produces more salt than water, but the water it produces is good stuff, large filtered water. That's kind of nice. What else did I do? Oh, yeah, I've added some rooms. There's this command center room, which uh, allows me to look at some features. Let's see. I can look at different rooms. I think it's highlighting the room I'm in. And I can go in and disable individual sections if I want. I think it shows you the power savings and what it does to whole integrity to disable stuff. Huh. Cool. And you can see I can rename the base. It shows me time of day. Uh, status of power. Lots of cool stuff here. And down the hall this way. I've added another room where I put my bed and desk and stuff like that. And like... Oh. Some kind of scent producing thing. But anyway, I've collected more resources than I know what to do with. Oh, one other thing. Welcome I made aboard, some Captain. improvements to the sea truck. Where did I put the sea truck? It's over here. I was able to add a couple modules to it. So now it's more than just a vehicle. I've got a little fabricator in here. And some extra storage. That's going to be useful. And I got this room here, which is actually picking up fish as I travel. Initially, I, like, put some fish in here, but I only put, like, four fish in. And, yeah, fish are just getting added to here. Which is cool. If I ever need food, I can just grab it out of there. That's kind of nice. So, this is, this is a nice little vehicle. There's some other upgrades, like additional modules I could add to the sea truck if I could find the plans for it. But I think that's enough for now. What I want to do now is let's check out some of these artifacts. I'm not sure which ones I've been to. This is a body. This is a body cache. I probably should look at that one. Assuming I haven't already been to it, which I might have. I don't know. But I'll see which one of these I've been to and which ones I haven't. Try to scan some of these. Further upgrades to the sea truck or the sea prawn kind of requires that I get my hands on materials I haven't been able to find yet. Like nickel, 
Uh, I think Kainite is another one. Ow! Hit my vehicle. Ah! This is the way. This is it. While we're here, let's see what we got in here. Lots of critters. We grab that. Grab that. I just wanted to confirm that this is the site I've been to. I've already scanned that body part. Okay. So. Been there. Alright. These are apparently sites I haven't been to yet, so I should check that one. These two I probably have been to. Alright, let's mark both of these. See if I can find them. I can find my way back out of here again. An active volcano detected nearby. An active volcano, huh? Oh, I've definitely not been here before. Ooh, check this out. Ow, ow, let go. Let go! Ow. Took a big bite out of my vehicle. This artifact could provide useful information. Processing. I can visualize the location where we may find an important component for my body. The image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. The stark surface landscape. Dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. Huh? Not sure what he's going on about there. This volcano may be less inactive than it first appeared. This must be something that's sucking the power from the volcano. Ground sampler, huh? Looks like there's, uh, ion cubes. I'll take those. Might be useful for something. Not as inactive as it first appeared. What's my depth? Well, I'm too deep for the sea prawn at the moment. Let me go get some air, and then I'll, uh, check down there again, because there might be some valuable resources down there. Humans cope with the loss of memories. Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know, it just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of a leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. 
What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Well, Alan seems to be learning some things from us. I don't know that we're learning anything from Alan. I thought he'd located another body part, but it doesn't look like I'm seeing anything popping up here. Stark surface landscape, dangerously cold, curved spires stretched to the sky. Uh, so it's not going to give me a pinpointed location, it's just a general idea. We're going to have to do a little exploring to find that. A programmable robot that collects and analyzes samples of soil and rock. I thought it was doing something to take energy from the volcano, but apparently not. Alright, let me check for this last artifact location. I'm going to have to see if I can figure out where to find that body part. Is there one of those things? It leads up here. I can figure out what that is. I've seen this before in another area. I can't figure out what it is. It's like a giant power cord or something. The artifact is that way, but I don't want to leave my sea truck behind if I can avoid it. Let's see if I can get closer to it. goes underwater again. It's like a giant alien sea cable. Looks like it leads right into the rock. Hmm. Is that some ore that I see there? Copper ore. I really shouldn't pick this stuff up. I have more ore than I know what to do with. Oh, that's weird. Looks like there's something on the other side of that ice. Hmm. I wonder. This isn't something I can cut through with a laser cutter, is it? It is! Maybe. It seems like it should be, but... Eh, maybe not. I can't seem to get any closer to it or... Use it for me. No, I guess not. really seemed like something I could cut with a laser cutter. And the artifact's that way. Nope, nope, nope. 
I may have mis... I may have made a mistake. Got a little jammed up. Ugh. Let me extract myself from that. Okay, that was messy. the scanner equipped. Pouch bulb. Eh. Unfit for human consumption. Yeah, there's something over there. Listen, looks like I'm not the first one to be in here. did kill the architects. New technology acquired. Was it... Was it the, uh... The blight? The plague? Is that what killed them? Or was it something else? It seems like if they could put their consciousness into a machine, they should have survived, right? I gotta stop picking this stuff up. What is this structure anyway? A big energy generator. Oh. I now have the ingredients for an ion battery and ion power cell. I think the ion battery is necessary for a headlamp. I could make a headlamp. Hmm. I don't think I have the ingredients for that on me. I have to go back to my base. But I'm about out of leads anyway. Uh, let me go back to my base and try to make that headlamp. And then maybe try to follow the clues to figure out where... ...that other body part for Alan might be. What the heck is that? This is another antenna? Sure, I haven't been here before. Hmm. Check up there. What is this place?
like the remnants of a bridge. There is something of significance beyond this bridge. It was important to Otera, but more important to me. Will it help us build you a body? I believe so, yes. Hmm. Hydraulic fluid. Okay. Mechanical hydraulic fluid. How do I get to the other side of the bridge? Oh, I bet I know. I bet I could do it with technology that I don't yet possess. proper vehicle. I bet I could get across that. But I don't have the necessary blueprints for that vehicle yet. I'll try not to get too badly lost here. Facility beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier. Fire Robotics Center. Robotics Center? Ah, oh, I've been looking for that place. Hey! Just have to figure out how to get there from here. This icicle scared me. Phi Robotics. This is where Sam worked. Where the place got shut down. It looks wrecked. Ah! Snow Fox Hover Pad. New blueprint synthesized. Deployable pad equipped with two articulating arms. That's not the snow fox. The heck is the snow fox hover pad? Oh, it's an exterior module. It charges and repairs the hover bike. All right, well, I still need the plans for the snow fox itself. I can manage to find that. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. So you used to like what you were doing? Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pingling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. 
This scientist is more at home with these penguins. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait, are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... A hydra? Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I... This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Wait. I almost made it to the end of that conversation. All right. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, Aww. why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm going to tell you something. And then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Ooh. This must be a map of where I'm at right now. I see the bridge. Previously explored research locations accessible via Spy Penguin. I have one of those. Uh, definitely have to look into that. Ooh, this place looks pretty intact. Is intact. Ooh, cold suit. What well, I wouldn't give for a cold suit. New blueprint synthesized. New music, nice. I like the poster. Rivaled in protection from colder climates. Rated to 133.8 Kelvin. Wow, that's cold. Snow stalker fur. I have a piece of snow stalker fur, but just a piece. Where do I get that? I don't even know. Hmm. I've seen snow stalkers, but they're nothing to mess with. They might leave behind their fur someplace. I'll have to think about that. I was just thinking, I'm carrying so much stuff, I need to head back soon. I forgot I had this. Whoops. I always do that. Pick that up.
what's up here? Oh, there is an alien artifact. That looks like one of those teleporters I saw in the previous game. Is this another kind of uh, piece I could add to my base? Neat. Finding lots of that fiber mesh in here. Administration. Sealed up. Wait, there's a PDA over there. Oh, <laughs> you brought a friend. Spy Pangling in training. We're recording audio, is that okay? Of course. I have the photos you sent. Um, what am I looking at here? Kara pustules on the frozen leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penguins. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. Well, I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. It's like a nice enough manager. Uh. I already have the plans for this, I think. Yeah. Alright, where was that other route? That alien artifact down here. Yeah, this looks like one of those teleporters. Yep. Not sure how the heck you'd activate it. Aha! So, I never really understood that before. So there's a primary gate and then secondary gates. And the secondary gates won't work unless the primary gate is activated. I'm assuming that's probably a secondary gate. Who knows where the primary one is. Not seeing anything else here. If I could get a snow fox, I bet I could use it to jump over that bridge gap. But I don't have the plans for that yet. This way. Ah, uh, here. This is the landing pad. Love to get my hands on that cold suit.
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find my way back to the sea truck at this rate. Hey, another fragment of snow fox. I think that's enough. I now should have the blueprints. Can I get in there? There we go. Hmm. Looks like I should have all the ingredients to make it, too. Cool. What's up here? those critters. I don't know how I get their fur. The light's supposed to scare them off! Doesn't seem to be working. Ah! Run away! Run away! <laughs> Well, that sucked. Shoot, I... I can't get away from this thing. What is that that I can scan? Glow fungus. Huh. It's fungus that glows. I'm very nervous now. I'm 600... I'm 600 meters from... the sea truck. Is this place? Shoot. He's coming toward me. No good, no good, no good. Get out of here. I want to ready one of these flares. Yes, yes, you're very big and scary. That's good. Maybe that has useful information about it. Let's see if this flare scares it off. I'm hoping. Stay back. Stay back. I got a flare. Ah. Okay, wait. Um. It's probably be better in daylight. It's cold here, too. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Yeah. This would be a good spot, but I gotta get here during the day. It's, it's no good to be here right now. 
I wonder if I could wait till daylight. Might be a bit of a wait, though. Hmm, something just occurred to me. The sun's coming up, so that should help. I could deploy the penguin here. then run over where there's shelter and use your remote on it from there. Let's see if that works. Okay, I have shelter here. Yep. Going undercover. Let's see what we got over here. Quartz? Oh, there's quartz in here. Not really what I was hoping to find. What's up here? More quartz. So much quartz. Ooh, magnetite. That's a little rare. I'll take that. Looks like it. Otherwise, so much quartz. Hmm. I wonder what the self-destruct would do. Like, if I blew up the... the creature here? I don't know. Make this easier on me. Head toward where the ladder was. I can't see it. Alright, let's abandon it here. I don't know where I sent that penguin. Shoot. Just hoping the light would scare it off. Get away. Shoot. Shoot. is around here. Have I been here? I don't know. I'm completely lost now. <laughs> no idea where I'm at. Greens for the snow fox. That thing's gonna kill me at this rate. I 
I don't think I want to explore anymore. I want to just get out of here. I've seen enough. What the hell is that? What even is that? Wait, there's arrows. What the heck? Pathfinder tool. Place nose to mark your path. Retrace your steps with ease. Interesting. Well, there's another cool thing I can make. I think I found my way back to the sea truck. I think it's time to head back. I think I have done enough for today. Lord found some neat new sites, so I guess it was worth the effort to go after those alien artifacts that Alan had found. And now I have plans for yet more things to check out. Boy, if I could figure out how to get the um, materials I would need to make the uh, cold resistant suit, that would be really nice. And I have at least a possible lead to follow up on for where to find another piece for Alan's body. Probably either need the uh, the snow fox or maybe the sea prawn to find it. And I'll work on that next time on Amon chooses Subnautica Blow Zero.